So, welcome to the part 2 of this tutorial on how to photograph a beer bottle. In this part of the tutorial we will see how to add the, the, those two white lines on the side of the bottles. Uh, these lines are uh, very important to give a sense of roundness uh, on uh, our subject. Okay, before I start uh, with the actual tutorial, I'd like to answer two uh, questions that uh, a user emailed me. And uh, he asked uh, how to get rid of uh, those two black lines on the side of the bottles, those two big black lines. And the answer is to move the bottles toward the background. In this shot, my bottle is about two feet towards the background and in this shot is just one feet. So, as you can see, just by moving the, the bottles of one feet, you can totally change the, the look of uh, the image. This is the setup for uh, the side light. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, two 16 soft boxes, uh, and I used two Nikon SB700 as speed lights. The power of uh, each speed light is uh, at 116 power. Uh, later, you can see. Uh, I've used the uh, two diffusion panel on front of the speed lights, uh, on front of the soft boxes, I'm sorry, to give a gradient to the side uh, strip uh, of light uh, on the bottle. Uh, that um, helped to give uh, a more sense of roundness uh, in the final shot. And to show you how this diffuser works, I've made a little clip so you can see uh, at the beginning uh, the hard shape of the soft boxes reflected on the side of the bottle. You can see it now. And when I start to position my diffusion panel in front of the soft boxes, you can see that on uh, your left side the light becomes more uh, softer and that gives uh, a nice gradient from the uh, right side to the left side of, uh, of the strip of light. Then, just to show you uh, how many possibilities you have uh, to, to light a bottle, I've put the diffuser, the diffuser I'm sorry, uh, away from the soft boxes. And as you can see, the, uh, the size of uh, the side light became much bigger. This is not uh, so, so, so cool for uh, a beer bottle, but you can find it uh, useful for uh, a wine bottle, for example. So, now that we know how to position and modify uh, our light, we are ready to take our first shot. These are just uh, the soft boxes without adding diffuser, diffuser uh, on the front and as you can see uh, the side lights are pretty hard and they don't give any sense of roundness. So, uh, as you may know, the diffusion uh, material took off uh, about one, uh, one stop and a half, so I have to rise up uh, the power of my speed light and take a, sh a second shot with the diffuser, uh, diffuser panel on front of the soft boxes. And now, as you can see, uh, we have uh, two uh, gradient lines uh, on the side of the bottles, and now uh, the bottle looks uh, pretty round as she is. Well, part two uh, is at the end. In the, the last part of this tutorial we will see how to add some details on the cap of the bottle 
and on the label. Uh, we, we will see how to light the label and then in the very last part of this tutorial we will talk about post-production. Uh, if you have any question, guys, uh, please uh, comment on this video. Uh, that's all for the moment. Bye.